Sup YouTube Official Gaming Network and welcome to episode 15 of our Mario game in Java tutorial. Last episode, we created the code for sprites and sprite sheets. This episode, we're going to be creating a sprite sheet, sprites, and actually loading them and drawing them into our game. So, first of all, we actually need to create a sprite sheet, but not in but not in Java or Eclipse. We actually we actually need to create it in a image editing tool. Oh, whoops. Like like GIMP. I use GIMP. Uh, some of you use paint.net or Photoshop, whatever you use. They'll all work. So I'm gonna go to File, New. I'm gonna create a new image, and because our images will be 32 by 32. Uh, let's make it something like 512 by 512 or 1024 by 1024, stuff like that because it's divisible by 32. So I'm just going to make mine 512 by 512. We're going to click OK. And now we're going to actually create a grid and which will be our sprite sheet. I know how to make a grid in GIMP. Uh, Paint.net, I heard there's kind of like a plugin that's called Grid. I'm not sure about Photoshop or other programs, you have to look that up. But if you're using GIMP, go click Filters, Render, Pattern, then Grid. Alright, and uh, what I'm about to do applies to everyone, the spacing and width and all that. This applies to everyone, no matter what program you're using. So because we already set in our code for the images to be 32 by 32 we need to change the spacing to 32 by 32 the whole the vertical and horizontal lines need to be 2 and the offsets all need to be 0 there can't be any offset at all so now we're going to click OK and here we go we have our sprite sheet so if we actually zoom in we can actually go into one of these sort of grid blocks and start painting but I'm not going to use this I'm going to use pencil because you should use the pencil tool for when you're making pixel art so I'm just going to go change my brush to just a single pixel alright and we're going to make uh, two sprites in this episode one is going to be the grass sprite and another one is going to be the player sprite so I'm going to create the player sprite first. It won't be an actual Mario. I'll I'll put in some effort into the player sprite, like probably off camera. But yeah, this is going to be temporary only for this episode. So I'm just going to make him orange. Fill him in. All right. All right. So I'm just going to create uh, two sprites: one the player, one the grass. You can make your own, and then I'll be right back when I've finished. Alright, so I have finished making my sprites. As you can tell, I put almost no effort into the player sprite, but I did put a bit of effort into the grass sprite, which I kind of like. Now we have to export it, so I'm going to go File, Export to, and we're going to save it as spritesheets.png. Now, I know how to get to your, you know, oh, what's it called? project folder using Mac but I'm not sure Windows you have to kind of look up a different tutorial but if you're in Mac go to documents workspace then click on your project which is Mario then I'm gonna go to res and export there yeah we just, uh, just click export and there we go alright now if we go back into Eclipse then you can see that if we try to open our res folder, there's nothing in it. So what we want to do is select our project folder and right click and click refresh. And there we go. If we look in it, you can see we have a sprite sheet dot PNG. So I'm just going to guide you guys through a phase that is really important for uploading, um, sorry, importing images into our game. So as you can see, we got image.io, read, get class, or get resource path. But we'll get an error because the only problem is 
Java doesn't know which folder to start from and because we want to start from the res folder but Java doesn't know that and so to fix that we kind of have to link this to our res folder so to do that we're gonna right click on our project and go to properties and then go to Java build path we're gonna go add class folder click that and uh, select the res folder Right, and click OK. Alright, there we go. You can see our res folder has this little icon, which means it's linked to this. So now we're going to actually create a sprite sheet. So we're going to go into our game class, and under public static handler, we're going to type public static sprite sheet, and we're going to call it sheet. And we just need to import sprite sheet, and then we type sheet is equal to a new sprite sheet and of course we need to specify the location path so we're just going to type slash sprite sheet dot png and remember you have to put a forward slash here I'm pretty sure yeah and it's very important you must put a forward slash here or it won't work so now we're going to actually create some sprites so under this we're just going to type public static oh, it's taking a while to load sprite sprites actually we're going to create two sprites public static sprite public static sprite grass and public static sprite player oh, okay we just need to import sprite and then under Add key listener, new key input. I'm going to type grass is equal to a new sprite. And of course, we need to specify our sprite sheet and the x and y coordinates. So for our sprite sheet, we're going to type sheet. And because the coordinates are x, uh, x2, as you can see, it's on the second sort of grid, and y1, we're going to type 2, 1. Sorry, I accidentally opened up Firefox. So we're going to type 2, 1. And there we go. Now we're going to type player is equal to a new sprite. We're going to type sheet, then just 1, 1, because it's in the very top left corner. So now we created our sprite sheets, we've loaded them. Now we're going to draw them, the fun part. So we're going to go into our entity package and go into our player class. Now instead of g.setColor, color.blue, we're going to delete all of this. And we're going to type t, g, I mean, sorry, dot draw image. And of course we need to specify the image and that will be game dot player dot get buffered image. We need to import game. Pretty sure. No. Oh, it's okay. And of course we need to specify the X and Y coordinates. So the X and Y will be X and Y. And the width and height will be width and height. And then we'll just type null, which means nothing. So we're going to copy this, go into our wall class in our title package, and we're going to do the, pretty much the same. Only that will be game.grass.getBuffered image. Alright, so now if we run it, and there you go. As you can see, we have successfully loaded two sprites into our game. Uh, everything still functions normally, but it's just that we now have sprites in our game. So, this is a pretty big step in actually creating our game. And I'm going to wrap up this episode here. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. I'll see you guys soon.